Okay, so we didn't quite get over the um, what is being reabsorbed, what is being secreted, and the different uh, renal tubule regions. So we're going to go over that. Just so you know, it might be helpful if you have a chart for this. So in the proximal collecting tubules, you have the reabsorption of sodium, obviously, um, the uh, potassium, magnesium, calcium, chloride, bicarbonate, hydrogen, urea, some drugs. Um, basically, it reabsorbs 65% of the filtrate volume. So if anybody asks you um, what part of the uh, renal tubule does most of the filtration, you can say, oh, I know that, it's PCT. Wonderful. So we said um, sodium is active transport. Um, the other cations is through electrical gradients, you know, potassium, magnesium, calcium. The anions is through paracellulars, um, it's electric, oh, sorry, electro gradient for chloride, and of course, um, water, you go through the aquaporin once, which means that it's osmosis, and urea and lipid soluble is passive electrical um, chemical gradient. So, um, and, the PCT, you also do some secretion. You do a little bit of hydrogen, creatinine, urea, um, ammonium, sometimes it depends. So now we go on to the next part of the renal tubule, which is the loop of Henle. And there's two parts, you have to remember. So in the descending part, what do we say? It's only permeable to water, so only water can get out of the descending limb of loop of Henle. Um, there is no secretion. In the loop of Henle, you go on to the ascending, you will reabsorb sodium, chloride, potassium, calcium, magnesium, and that's pretty much the same with the PCT, except for maybe the bicarb. That's, you know, you're not reabsorbing. And um, let's see. So this is mostly like if there's potassium, it's usually the paracellular routes. So now you go on to the um, DCT, where we have um, reabsorption of sodium, chloride, calcium, water. So it's one step down from the Lupinli, you don't reabsorb, you know, um, magnesium, potassium, um, but you still do, you know, calcium. This is important. Um, you don't have calcium in your body. And you can secrete hydrogen at this point in the DCT. <clears throat> and this is controlled by the aldosterone hormone. So now we go on to the collecting ducts where you can um, have either intercalated or principal cells. The principal cells are more numerous and they reabsorb sodium chloride. They secrete um, potassium and they're controlled by ADH or aldosterone. And intercalated, you can either reabsorb um, with one kind of intercalated cell like bicarb or potassium. It's very interesting. You can reabsorb potassium and intercalated, you secrete potassium in the principles. I don't know, maybe principles just don't like kids, who knows. Um, and you can also secrete hydrogen or um, bicarbonate. So basically PCT, the DCT and the CD can all secrete hydrogen to keep your uh, fluid electrolyte acid base balance, which we'll talk about in other videos. Mm -hmm. So what are the two hormones, aldosterone and um, ADH? And ADH is stimulated by osmoreceptors in the hypothalamus. And basically you don't have water reabsorption if ADH is not present. So you don't have ADH, then you're going to have a very dilute urine because you're going to have lots of water in your urine. And aldosterone does the um, reabsorption of sodium. So it's stimulated by if you have a decrease in your blood volume, blood pressure, hyponatremia, hypercalcemia, or the renin angiotensin systems because, you know, all these things says, oh, we need to like either reabsorb more calcium or we need to secrete more um, potassium. So there you have it. Um, so yeah.
that's it. Gotta remember, interrogated by our principal. So.